I've been playing a lot with development done by AI, mainly with Bold.new and Windsurf. And as a tech profile myself, I, my favorite one is basically Windsurf. But I realized that Bolt has some strengths that should not be ignored. So in this short video, I will create a small web page project dropping the same prompt on both Windsurf and Bolt to compare how they behave. Hi and welcome, I'm Amory, founder and CEO at My City of Friends, where founders come to learn how to build their tech startup. And with this startup snack series available on both podcasts and YouTube, we want to share the essential to make it easier for you to build your tech startup. So to be honest, I was first blown away by Bolt.new and then I discovered Windsurf that was not as impressive on the beginning, but that was more flexible on bigger projects. But I decided to give another try to Bolt to see if I didn't miss anything. And recently, I got so many questions about development done by AI that I decided to work on a special offer to help non-technical founders to develop their app by themselves with the required technical support they need. So let's go, let's build that offer web page together. Just for you to know, unlike my recent videos where I shared how to build quite complex applications like mobile app, back office, backend, just out of prompt, this project will stay quite simple from a technical point of view, but we will have higher expectations from a design point of view. And as usual, what I did is that I started to chat with ChatGPT. Basically, I had a walk with my phone, chatting about what I wanted to put on that sales page, on that offer page. And once I finished that discussion, I basically took all that conversation and I dropped it to ChatGPT in a file to ask it basically to split these specifications in small but very sharp prompt, being sure that for each step, there is not that much to do so that I know that the AI will have enough token to actually perform the actions I asked without generating too much bugs. By the way, if you're interested by that methodology, I recently dropped a video on YouTube, which is called Windsurf AI prompt to generate a real mobile application. And on that prompt, on that video, I described exactly how to split an idea into specifications and into a prompt based specifications. So I will put the link to that video in the comment section for sure if you want to check it out after. So here it is what I did. I went on ChatGPT. I dropped my conversation. Can you create clear and detailed specifications for my sales page using, using this ChatGPT conversation I got with a smaller model? Uh, yeah, because I was testing basically the different model. Don't set aside any details and use a proven sales page structure to have a very high conversion rate. That's it. So basically, he generated a series of prompts for the head headlines, program benefits, etc., etc., that I was ready to copy. The problem is that we do not have the context for the uh, development tool. So it was important to ask another prompt. Okay, now can you write a pre-development prompt to describe the context of the project to my AI development tool? So basically, that's what he did. Uh, and he created a first prompt. Uh, guiding on the basically the design sections, what is inside the sales page, etc. And I just copy this part uh, and I dropped it to Windsurf to get started. And here we are. That's what I dropped to Windsurf. And basically, a few seconds after, it generated this sales page. Uh, quite good, f actually, from the beginning. Nothing fancy so far. It's quite simple, but it was working. Same prompt on Bolt generated a little error that I had to fix with a, just a click of a button, fix that error. And it generated this page way better from a design perspective, from my point of view. Uh, but I definitely like uh, the design of Bolt better from uh, right from the back, basically. And I went on and on with the same methodology. Basically, I copied the headline, sublet headlines, and I went on drop and I wrote update slash create the section headline and sub headline, and I dropped the prompt below. And then one after another, I did exactly the same thing on both, copying and paste um, basically the methodology. And it worked like a charm. To be honest, uh, the, the, the web page on uh, Windsurf worked as well. Same thing on both, so moving forward. Uh, the result was actually way, way, way better on um, on uh, Bolt than compared to Windsurf. Windsurf quite, quite, was quite simple, generating slick, a design like this one, but I had a couple of issues with Windsurf uh, in terms of design. Uh, basically, at some point, if I find the place, yeah, on, at some point, I got some big issues on Windsurf, so I had to ask Windsurf to repair the style of the page because it was basically broken. And even after a few prompts, I still got this type of issues 
where uh, basically the call to action was kind of totally uh, dropped. So compared to that, Bolt was way better in terms of design, no error. Uh, it was amazing and the content was really, really good. So I decided to go all in with Bolt for that particular project. But still, there was a couple of things that was good on, uh, on Windsurf. Uh, it was basically the FAQ. Yeah, you can also see that I did a lot of screenshots on Windsurf to try to, to explain him what I wanted, but none of them worked. Uh, usually it works, actually, huh? but this one for, for some reason did not work this time. So as I said, there are some uh, sections on the uh, Bolt web page that was quite simple, like the FAQ, not that good. So I decided to take the one from uh, Windsurf, which was way, way better from my point of view. Uh, and what I did is that I basically copy the code from uh, Windsurf and I ask Bolt to basically do the same. So I had to go on Windsurf to find basically the section where there was the FAQ. So basically you can see it here, uh, all the section. I just copy and paste this piece of code, that's it. And I went on Bolt and I just took the, uh, explain, I just took the FAQ section from our old website. This one was more detailed. Can you update the FAQ section accordingly? And I dropped the piece of code and it was done. I had now on Bolt exactly, not exactly, something even better and in the same design as what I got uh, previously, which was amazing, exactly what I wanted to do. Same thing, I, I got some other design on Windsurf, which was great. I like these uh, boxes uh, that summarize basically the program. So I took a screenshot of this one and I asked to Bolt to do exactly the same or something similar. Uh, and uh, basically that's what he did. I dropped my image from my past website. I got this section which I like and you, uh, 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 update or create something similar on the sales page. Boom. And that's it. I basically finished my website the, for the launch offer, uh, which I am pretty happy with. Maybe there are one or two details that I'm going to review, but honestly, in like kind of half an hour or so, it's amazing to be able to, uh, to create such a, a sales page, an offer page uh, at a fraction of the time that it would uh, take usually with amazing uh, FAQ design, etc. Yeah, amazing. I love it. So to summarize, basically, Bolt is way better from a design perspective, although it creates some error time to time. That's what we got. On Windsurf, I did not really get some pure error, so, such only design issues. Uh, but yeah, definitely Bolt is better from a design perspective. Um, and basically, we have more bugs on the design with Windsurf. Uh, Bolt is better to understand screenshots, feedbacks, on that one, Windsurf was not, was not that good. And to be honest, to fix some issues on Windsurf, I had to ask Windsurf to purposely uh, rebuild or redevelop some component of the page. And last, I think it is very, very important, and that's basically the conclusion of several weeks of testing both. Bolt is still limited to simple integration, no real big software component and libraries. Uh, we don't really have a, a, a control on that. It, it, of course, manages these type of things, but we do not really have a control and it generates more bugs as soon as we want to integrate complex APIs. I'm not saying that it's impossible, but on that one, Windsurf is way better from my point of view. So basically, Bolt is more creative, better design, and less reliable for complex development, while Windsurf is less creative, not that good in terms of design, but more reliable for complex development. And above all, it provides a real kind of development environment where we have 100% of the control of the source code. So which tool to use then? Honestly, I was really 100% on Windsurf over the past few weeks, but I was recently very impressed by what Bolt has been able to do for me. So I now do believe that Bolt.new is a better choice to start a project right from the bat, from scratch, basically. We need to ensure that to define right from the beginning proper technical stacks to build a prototype that is actually a bit reliable. We need to basically finish the design phase on Bolt.new before to integrate anything too complex. And as soon as you reach a working prototype with nice workflow, then don't develop complex uh, things on Bolt. It can be a nightmare. Honestly, my experience so far turned out in a nightmare. So the best would be to take the project out of Bolt when you are pretty happy with it and you integrate it in Windsurf. And then now you have the environment to continue development and to integrate, integrate some more complex features. And one of the questions that uh, someone asked me is that if I integrate my application on a Windsurf, he will know nothing about it if it has been built by Bolt. And that's right. So it is very important to provide some context 
on that application, explaining that it has been generated by this application, while not mentioning Bolt on, on Windsurf, and, and asking Windsurf to do, not, to, to do nothing about the code, but just reading the structure, understanding how it works, uh, and to basically learn uh, about it, so that after we can ask some complementary changes. And that way, you should be able to develop a real application with 100% of the control, and still good design from the beginning. So to conclude, of course, we are not yet at a level of AI where we can actually build absolutely everything without technical background. There are still few details that need to be tackled with a little bit of tech expertise. But we are living in an exciting time. I believe that 90% of the development can be done by non-technical people, at least on the beginning of the project. So if you have a startup project and you want us to help you accelerate, we are currently launching a special program to help non-technical founders to actually launch their product with AI development tools, providing this last 10% of the tech expertise you need to generate better prompt, avoid error, and actually to really publish your application to the world. So if you're interested, and if you want to know more about that new offer we are launching, visit mycityoffrend.co. We're going to put also the link in the description below. And if you really want to be in the first cohort, you can also message us on mycityoffrend.co slash contact to be part from uh, of our first client on that brand new offer. We do believe that it is the best way now, uh, days currently, to build an application with just a little bit of tech support with people that are used to use AI and still by providing you all the freedom to create your application by yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you liked this video. And if, of course, if you have any questions or if you want to uh, suggest some topics for the upcoming videos, uh, drop some comments on, the, uh, on YouTube just below this one. We are happy to read uh, your questions and to answer as much as we can. Uh, and I'm looking forward to generate a new one uh, and to guide you uh, on, next, on the next video and hopefully maybe to work directly with you if you decide to work with us on our new program. See you. Bye.